Hi YouTube, this is your girl Money the Franklin coming to you guys with another video. On today, I truly miss you guys. I love you guys. Um, um, I hope all is well with everyone. I hope, hope everybody is happy. I hope everybody finds joy, love, and happiness and peace in your lives. This video today is about multiple things. Um, the first thing is about is I'm having a large catfish mukbang for you guys. It's been a while since I did a mukbang. So yes, I just ordered from Uber Eats from this restaurant. And I, cause I was craving so bad for catfish. I've been craving for fish for about three, four days, guys. I just started craving for fish out of nowhere. I don't know why, but I want some fish. So I got my cravings, which is some catfish and some French fries and some coleslaw. And I don't know what else in there. Some peppers <laughs> and hot sauce, hopefully. Anyway, so I want to do a, a catfish mukbang for you guys. Then also, I want to let you guys know that um, I have been tested for COVID-19 on today. Um, I went to the hospital this morning and got tested for COVID-19. My results will be back on Friday. I hope that... I'm, I'm hoping and praying hard that my results is negative, that I'm not co that I'm not positive, and uh, what made me, you know, um, go is, is different. Re it's different things that made me go. But before I tell you guys what made me go, let's get into this video. Um, and another, th uh, the other thing is the reason why I'm doing this video is because I miss you guys. I really, truly miss you guys. I love you guys. You guys are my family. You're my YouTube family. You're more than fans to me. You're my family. Okay, so I'm going to start on, uh, I'm going to get started, open up this food, and I'll discuss about why I went to the hospital this morning and got tested for COVID-19. Okay, so here goes my food. I ordered from the restaurant called JJ's Fish and Chicken. I don't know if you guys ever heard of JJ's Fish and Chicken, but that's the restaurant I ordered my food from. And I ordered a 16 ounce of Pepsi, but I put it back because I literally forgot I had this 2 liter RC right here. And I'm like, why am I buying a pop, getting the pop? And I already have pop, you know. My voice is a little hoarse right now. Um, yeah, it's a little rough right now. And I already have a little bit. I'm going to pour this food out, guys. I'm going to pour this food out. Okay. Oh, my God. They gave me so much hot sauce. <laughs> I got about four or five of these. Little thing of hot sauce. Okay. And they gave me some coleslaw, which is small. So I ordered a large catfish dinner because I was craving for some catfish. And what's this right here, guys, is my thing of peppers because I love peppers on my fish and my chicken. And I also ordered me some dessert. I ordered me some banana pudding. You guys can see that right there. I ordered me some banana pudding because I wanted some dessert to go with my dinner. I also got me a bottle of spring water right here. Then I also got the cup. For McDonald's that I say that I had got some coffee, I got some ice, ice coffee in this cup about a week ago. So I saved it after I drank the ice coffee out. So I'm going to pull my RC pop up in this cup. I already put ice in there. And I'm going to pull my RC up in here, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull my RC up in here to drink with my food. I also got the water because I had been coughing. A lot the last few days, so that's what made me um, get the water. Just in case, I don't want to be coughing real bad on camera. I want to be able to talk to you guys without coughing too bad. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. And then this one on top of here. Okay. I was going to do a... Um, so here go the fish guys, this is the catfish, the live catfish with the fries, uh -huh. so that's what I'm about to have for dinner while I'm chit chatting with you guys, um, put this over here, so this is what I'm going to have for dinner while I'm chit chatting with you guys, 
And then you got to know the reason why I went and got tested for COVID-19. And I hope my test come out negative. I really seriously do. But I got up to the hospital and they like had us in this line but to get tested. But this line, the line was long. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. It hurt it. It truly hurt it. They stuck this thing in my nose and they was throwing it up. First they stuck it on the left side. And then they was, I jumped and they had to take it out because it was hurting. It was, un it was so uncomfortable and it was hurting. So I opened up the peppers. And I opened up the coleslaw. But it was hurting, so they stuck the thing in my nose. And I was like, because it hurt. And then I said, please, can you do it over here on this side? You know, because my right side, for some reason, didn't feel better. I thought I was going to feel better than my left side. So they literally. Took that tongue, opened up another one, stuck it on this side. And it still hurt it. Oh, my gosh. It hurt it. I don't know. Nobody never told me. I'm trying to pull the bread out, guys. So they gave me two pieces of bread. Nobody never told me getting tested for COVID-19 would hurt. <laughs> huh? This is the first time I'm getting tested since the COVID-19 came out in March. Now, mind you, a lot of my family members went and got tested for it. I think it's free testing center, but I never got tested for it. Today was my first day getting tested for, for it. But the reason I got tested for it because my daughter, um, my baby daughter, she has on a primary. And she got a four month old baby. She got her first baby. Her baby's four months old, and she called me and she said, Mom, I'm sick, I'm not feeling well. I need you to come over here and spend the night and help me take care, help take care of me. So I said, okay. I'm using my granddaughter. So I went over there so I could help my daughter take care of her, her baby while she's sick. So when I got over there, my daughter wasn't feeling good at all. She was burning up with a fever. She had a fever. So, so mind you, I'm around her. I'm trying to help take care of my grandbaby. And I spent the night over there. And I came home like the next day. I just started coughing real bad out of nowhere. Um, I often don't be coughing a lot since, so I said, let me go get some, some say, go get tested to make sure you don't have COVID-19, which I hope I don't have that stuff, but I've been coughing a lot. I don't know if it's a regular cold. Or, well, you know, I'm hoping, I, I really pray and hope that I don't have COVID 19, guys. So, um, I'm praying and hoping that my test results come back. Fine on Friday. Because my results come back Friday. I do not want to have that stuff. God knows I don't. Mm. And I'm hoping that I don't, seriously. I never had it and I hope I don't have it. <laughs> you know, my husband all goes well with that. And this is, I think after getting tested, guys, this is the paper that the hospital gave me, literally, let me show you guys, um, let me fold it up some, my hands are a little, 
This is from the hospital, guys. This is the paper that the hospital gave me that says Loretta Hospital. Got the address and stuff on there. It got to whom we make a concern. Franklin and Juanita was tested 10, 12, 20, which is today, for COVID-19. So if you guys can really read it closer, then you know I got tested. And then it's also letting you know that my results will be back three to five days. So I'm hoping it everything come back fine. The nurse told me to um, come back up to the hospital on Friday. But she said if I have it, they would call me. Let me know if I don't hear from them. That means I don't have it. But she said I still can come up there with my ID to get my results. No. I'm praying open. I don't have it. I do not want that stuff. Mm -mm, not at all. I don't wish that on no one on this earth. Mm -mm, nobody out here. I wish nobody in this world would, would ever catch that. I don't want nobody catching that. So, hope my results come back fine. So, hope you guys are doing good. I know I haven't made a video probably in a little over a week. But I have been missing on you guys. I'm going to miss some of you guys. Bye. I've still been watching YouTube sometimes. You know, going on YouTube watching my favorite YouTubers. I do got my favorite YouTubers I come on here and I watch. You know, so. Mmm, this fish is good. Mm -mm. I actually got blessed with this fish. I got blessed with a free meal. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't have to pay for none of this. The only thing I had to pay was a few dollars for the delivery charge. And that was it. Uber Eats gave me a thirty dollars free uh, credit, food credit, so I was able to order thirty dollars of food. For free and then have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm gonna do a cat large catfish my bank, catch up with you guys. See how everybody is doing. Everybody's doing fine. My grandbaby's four months old now, she just turned four months. Uh, she is so smart and so advanced now. She was so smart in advance. She literally was trying to hold a whole conversation with me over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so. This fish is good. I know I'm not going to eat y'all guys because. First of all, I'm going to eat get full. Second of all, I'm it's a lot of food. Uh -uh. Lot of food. Third of all, I don't eat that much. <laughs> mm, but it's good. Oh my god! I have to get a big pick plate of food, and I get full so quick. And I don't know why, but I do. And then I don't finish my food. I put it up and eat it another time. <laughs> but I always go back to it. I never throw it away. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm a little horse guy. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of coughing. The last three, four days, I've been doing a lot of coughing. Is it a dry cough? No. Because I know I'm saying it's COVID-19 and it was a dry, it's supposed to be a, a dry cough or something. I don't have a dry cough. It's just a regular normal cough, but it's my voice is changing. I'm a little hoarse right now. Um, 
So, but I'm praying, hoping that my test come out fine. Um, have I been feeling? Have I been feeling sick? A little bit. A little. A little bit. Um, not bad, but a little. So I hope that everything come out good for real. I'm seriously hoping my test come out negative. I do not want to test positive. I want to test negative. Yeah, so anyway, guys, um, I was going to cook. I was going to do like, um, uh, um, cooking vlog for you guys and yesterday, but I wasn't feeling up to it. I was not feeling up to it, so I'll do it another time. I took meat out of my freezer and everything for you to cook, uh, make a cooking vlog. But then I wasn't feeling up to it. So I didn't do it. I said, you know what? I just do a mukbang. Seafood mukbang. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not finna eat all this food. It's, it's too much. <laughs> I think I'm going to finish this out, this little piece of fish out, then I'm going to be done. I'm going to put this food up, because I'm literally getting full. I really am. I'm full. I got some mild peppers because my doctor laid me out spicy food over seven years ago. Then I got hypertension. My blood pressure pills too, guys. Um, let me show you guys my blood pressure pills. I've been on blood pressure pills for like seven years. So I'm hypertension. So I have to monitor my sodium. I have to monitor my. Uh, I have to monitor how much sodium I, I put into my body, so it won't run my blood pressure up. Now this right here. These are my blood pressure pills. It's called the Centerprils 20 milligrams. Okay, these are my blood pressure pills. These pills right here is called from Fem Motorline. These are new pills I'm on. These right here for acid reflex because I have acid reflex as well. So um, I used to be on water pills, but they took me off the water pills about a year and a half ago. Uh, the hospital did. I ended up in the hospital uh, for. For two or three days, and they, I went, I got sick, went to the hospital, and they ended up keeping me in the hospital for two or three days, and that's when they took me off the water pill. So I haven't took the water pill since because they were saying it was messing up my potassium level, so they had to take me off of it. So yeah. Anyway, guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know, stay safe. Wear your mask. Keep yourself protected at all times. Um, this, okay, my camera went off for a second. Had to turn it back on. Okay, guys, like I was saying, um, I hope everybody's keeping themselves safe during this season. Oh, gosh, I got fish all on my clothes. I'm getting all on my shirt. I want to start dropping all on my shirt. Anyway, um, hope you guys are staying safe through the season. Wear your mask, wear your gloves, uh, use a hand sanitizer. Whatever it takes to keep yourself safe, use the social distance. Um, you know, go get yourself tested because even if you don't have it, it's good to know you don't have it. A lot of my family members got tested for it, and a lot of them don't have it. They went to diff they went. My family member was going to different free uh, testing center and getting themselves tested just to be on the safe side to make sure they don't have it. You don't have to have the symptoms to go up there and get tested. Just do it anyway. Just make sure you are you okay. Cause they saying sometimes people don't even have the symptoms and be having it. But I don't have. I don't feel like I have it, which I hope to God I don't. But I just feel like I just have a regular common cold. But I'm just being on the safe side. I went to took the test anyway, and I'm praying hard that it come out negative. That I'm not positive. Um, just go and get tested anyway, just to make sure you okay. It's better to be safe than sorry. So, 
Um, which I hope everybody is okay. I hope every, all is well with everyone. I hope everyone is doing fine. I hope don't nobody is home. No, don't nobody catch that stuff. Not even me, but I want you guys to be on this, be safe, you know. Um, you know, so even if you don't feel no something's good, get tested anyways, just to um, make sure you are right, you know. Um, I got to the hospital this morning. They had this tent in the back of the hospital in the parking lot. They didn't even allow us in the building to get tested. They was testing people in the parking lot in this tent, guys. And um, they they registered. They met us standing in this line, and they registered us through the line. You have to have your ID, and they took your ID, and they registered you off your ID while you were standing in the line. And it wasn't crowded when I got there. I was glad of that. But it ended up getting crowded before I leave. So... Then they were taking us in this tent, and then they uh, had us sitting in these chairs. They had a chair like six feet, up, feet apart, you using social distance, and then they had us like sit down in this chair, and they take this long thing, this thing, and put it up your nose. Ugh, oh, my gosh. I'm not going to ask. It, hurt. it hurts, and it's uncomfortable. I jumped. I literally jumped when they did the, when they did the, I just jumped, and she had to take it out and throw it away and open up another and redo it in this nose right here. And it still hurt because she was just turning up in there. She went way up in there. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm about to run up out of there. <laughs> I'm about to run, y'all. But I did. I went on and took the pain because it's better to be safe than sorry. I swear. I'm like, why? I left there. I was like, why didn't nobody tell me it hurt to get tested for the coronavirus? Um, but I'm glad she did it. And I, she said she told me my results come back Friday, like I told you guys. I'm just hoping the guy, if I test negative, not positive. So I wanted to touch bases on that, guys. Please go get yourself checked out. If you haven't already did it, just to be on the safe side. I don't care if you're not having symptoms, still go get yourself checked out. Because they said some people have not had symptoms and still had it. They didn't even know they had it. So it's best to be safe than sorry. Please go get yourself checked out to make sure you're okay. You know, um, and that's about it. So... I want I wanted to do this video um do this fish smoke bang and chit chat with you guys and basically let you guys know what's 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 going on with with me and um so like I said that's what made me go get tested because I stopped I went to call myself and help my daughter with her baby because my daughter was sick with a fever and stuff. Then I come back home there too late. I start back. I start coughing real bad myself. So, oh, I'm gonna taste this banana pudding before I get let you guys go. See how this banana pudding taste? Cause I don't know if you guys know. Everybody don't make good banana pudding. <laughs> some people do, and some people don't. Everybody banana pudding is not good. So I'm gonna taste. I wanna see how it tastes. I wanna do know if it tastes good as my mom's. Cause my mom put her food in her banana pudding. I mean, she put her food in her food, her foot in her banana pudding. So, I don't make banana pudding. My mom do, though. I make cakes when I want to make dessert. So, I want to taste this banana pudding. Look, guys. See here, I tell you. I love banana pudding, too, and peach cobbler. Mmm, mmm, -mm, it's good. This is delicious, guys. Yeah, I'm mm, good. So I'm praying, hoping that all my, my results come back good on Friday. That I test negative, not positive. Because God knows I do not want that, that stuff at all. I don't want that on nobody. I don't want that stuff. Um, this is good. I had to taste it. Mm, mm, mm. This is fat. <laughs> As they say, that food tastes so good, make you want to slap somebody. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, I'm done with this video. Comment, subscribe, like, share, hit that bell, guys, and turn that bell on so you guys can see all my videos when I drop these videos. Anyway, I love you guys. You guys are my family. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Stay on this journey with me. Like I said, a lot of good content going to be coming. I am going to um, 
make another video on Friday, guys. When I get my test, when I get my test results back, I'm gonna. I might just vlog on my way to when I, on my way to the hospital. Vlog when I get to the hospital to get my results. Take you guys on a journey with me, so you guys can hear what my results are for yourself. You can hear the doctor tell me what the results are on Friday. Um, I want you guys to go on the journey with me. I am a little scared, a little nervous, and I'm praying hard that I don't have it. But I will guy I will vlog again on Friday to to let you guys know how my results came out, and I pray and hope they come come out negative and not positive. All right, love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Uh, stay stay prayerful. Stay protected. Um, keep yourself safe. Keep your loved ones safe. Keep yourself safe. Keep everybody in your life safe. All right, love you guys. Peace.